Awesome. All right. This is how to edit a video on learn.wordpress.org. Org. Um, but if you are not updating videos on learn.wordpress.org, uh, we have some very exciting things that you can apply to your own work as well today or your own just open source, whatever. <laughs> so quick little overview. Hi, Sarah Snow. I use pronouns she, her. I'm a Florida resident by weekday, traveler by weekend, and a former middle school teacher. So you will see that definitely come out here. Um, I'm a parrot and a sharp hay mom. I love cooking, learning languages. Um, I'm studying American Sign Language, French, and Spanish now, um, and the ocean. Uh, and I am a training team contributor sponsored by Automatic slash Mad Scientists. So you're going to see that a little bit today, my chaotic uh, um, creative process. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that by the end of today, you can find either a small or a big way uh, to contribute to the WordPress training team today. So, or just in general, not necessarily right now. Um, so as always, expectations here, uh, please stay courteous, respect yourself and everyone in this room. We are learning together, including me, your facilitator. Um, I'm using free open source technology today, which I'm not as familiar with. So you may see me stumble a little bit, but hey, um, I'm learning with you and you can see that, hey, learning is absolutely a process. Um, so also note that you are the source of brilliant information. So when I said, hey, find your chat box over here, um, what I mean is you are welcome to share your ideas here, ask questions and answer other people's questions as well. Um, you may be more skilled in WordPress, in video creation or whatever than, than me, um, or you may be learning just for the very, very beginning. So that's totally fine. So this only works with kind, deliberate participation. And I don't really believe in, in wrong ideas. I do believe in throwing out, hey, whatever comes to mind. Um, so of course, as always, stay curious and patient. And this is recorded. And you can find these recordings at learn.wordpress.org. For those of us who are new, I try to show you where that is every time. So if you head to learn.wordpress.org, um, that's where the tutorials that we are going to be updating live. You can find those over here. Here's a whole big list of those. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for this specific recording or the other one that I did about some other like recording, you know, tips and tricks from the very get go. Um, if you scroll down to where it says upcoming online workshops, there's a button here that says view all online workshops. If you click that button, there is another button that says, hey, view the recorded online workshops where many of these live. So and you can search any of these here. You can see um, ones that have been done in the past. Most of them, not all, are published here. Um, Great the video for learn WordPress. I think I did one of these before as well, but looks like I can't find it right this moment. Oh, there it is. It is right there. So if you wanted to see another version about this where it talks about like technology and some considerations there, um, you're welcome to bookmark that link. But this is a completely different presentation uh, from that one. So yeah, that's how to find this. And let's keep going. Also, if you are hearing a random screaming parrot in the background, a bird, that is just my bird. She's upset that she's not in here with me right now. So I apologize uh, if you hear that. So today I'm going to talk about how to make a super fast contribution to learn WordPress. So learn.wordpress.org. Um, thank you for helping make the web a better place. Uh, the second thing that we'll talk about are considerations for editing existing videos, uh, either from or for learn.wordpress. Um, and finally, depending on time, there will be a demonstration of the chaos of my <laughs> creative process um, and how this works and using open source and playing with things and just kind of seeing like kind of how all of this works and how it all works together and, and how I think through things as I edit videos or make videos. So um, I'm curious, I just want to make sure everybody can find the chat box. So first off, like what kind of videos are you hoping to make or edit. And these it can be as simple as one for learn. So that's my answer, learn about wordpress.org videos. Um, but I, I'm sure you're here for your own purposes as well. Is there anything in particular that you are hoping to learn, that you're hoping to do, contribute to the training team, make something for your clients, stuff like that? Why are you here today? Awesome. So some people are saying, yeah, so for Learn WordPress, awesome. Thank you so much for contributing, but also for your blog and YouTube channel. The things that you learn here today, if you do have a blog, if you do have a website where you make learning videos, this will help you today. So I'm very happy to see you all here. Oh, and someone wants to make their first workshop. Excellent. Ah, that's so great. <laughs> 
All right. How to videos. Yeah, maybe make some short videos on your blog. Yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, for ADA, I think, is that America, Americans with Disability Act? Maybe that could be interesting. All right. I'd like to learn how to make a video to show you to help people fix bugs from the WordPress forum. Okay. Oh, what a great idea. Okay, so like you can definitely do that. Um, I feel like that's a slightly different skill um, that you can use with like screencasting technology. Um, so if anyone knows of a really good screencast technology that you use to make quick little, you know, either GIFs or videos, um, drop those in the chat. The one that I've used in the past is Droppler. Uh, Droppler is the one I use. It's not... Um, I don't know that it is free though. Looks like someone else is saying screen past matic Awesome. So there are ways to do this a lot faster. So the help forms are generally a little bit less polished. This one um, is going to, these are going to be for videos that are, you know, between five to 10 minutes long, maybe two minutes at the shortest. Um, they try to be polished. So we want to use like transitions and, and things like that. Um, so this may be this may be a little bit more in depth than that, but the screencast o matic Droppler is the one I use. Any others that you you happen to know of, that might be um, a good way to help people in the forums. Oh, what a great what a great heart! Oh, I love it. Snag it. Okay, that's another good one. Not free, but sometimes it can be helpful. So one thing that I want to do today is just get just a quick sense of where you are today. So this is going to just help me know that you're learning, <laughs> so I can talk to my boss and make sure that they know that I'm I'm helping you learn and that I, my what I'm doing is effective today. So all I want to know is, and this is totally anonymous, um, it doesn't, uh, well, yeah, okay, so your email address is not shared, and it's just asking, hey, how comfortable are you editing videos about WordPress? So a zero is, hey, I don't know a single thing about editing a WordPress video, which is totally fine. Um, and a 10 is, I would feel very comfortable editing an existing video about WordPress. So for me, if I were taking this, I would say I was be it about, uh, a nine. I do this quite a lot. Um, <laughs> it, I'm not very great at it. Like I wouldn't say um, I do my best, but it's definitely not like my primary skill set. So that's why I'm not a 10. Um, and you can answer in the chat if you'd like, but also please put it in the Google document. Oh, we need permission. Oh, no. Oh, I fixed it. Oh, no. Edit. Okay. Mm, add collaborators. Do I need to add Ah, here we go. Anyone with the link, go ahead and refresh that. That just helps me to keep track of this. I'm going to try and do this more and more. Perfect. Thank you. So let's see. I see some ones. You don't know where to start. That's great. Um, you're, in a, you're in the right place. <laughs> um, I use Movapi for free, which is not free. I use Panopto. Okay, great. So some of you have some great background in here. And if you know of something that you see that I'm not doing particularly well, and you're like, hey, try X thing, drop that in the chat. We will all learn from you that way. Uh, but yeah, please fill out that survey super quick. Tell me where you are. And then we're going to fill it out again at the end, just so that I know how successful I was uh, in teaching you today. So maybe a five. Okay, great. Still get the permissions thing. Ah, did not update, man. Thought I had this all figured out. See, here I go learning with you. You might need to refresh the page. Should try this one more time. Mm -hmm. Add collaborators. Should be that anyone can view. Let me try getting a new link. Huzzah. Try that one. And if it doesn't work, then we're just going to skip it and I will know for next time. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> so some people have other uh, other technologies that they use. CleanShot X, ScreenFlow. I use Camtasia a lot, um, but today we're going to be using open source software. Okay, we'll go ahead and skip that then for today. So if you are brand new to WordPress and you're like, hey, I, I would like to contribute something really fast to the training team. I want to get some videos updated, but you only have a few sh short moments. There is a way that you can contribute. Now, this way, I don't believe gets you a badge, but if you head over to learn.wordpress.org and you click on a tutorial, yeah, and don't, don't worry about the form for right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix it for next time. Um, but let's say that you are looking at a slightly older um, tutorial. Uh, let's do different site editor page editor. Let's see what comes up when I search this. Um, 
understanding the page editor versus the site editor. So I know that this is a little bit of an older one, just kind of off the top of my head, but say that you're just watching this and you notice that the related version is 6.0, right? So that's the first thing. Oh, hey, this may need to be updated. 6.2 just came out. Um, one thing you can do if you're watching this video and you and you don't, oh, I got distracted by the sound, that's okay. And you're, you're looking at this and you realize that the editor looks a little different, that some of the screenshots are not up to date. Maybe there's the gear over here. This, this settings gear has recently been replaced. So that's one of the changes with 6.2. And you're like, man, this would be really hard for somebody new to follow. You can contribute and, and help us fix this and alert us by scrolling down and finding the suggestion box here. Clicking this let us know button will take you to a quick form and you can just write your name, your email, um, a link to the URL where you just were. And then you can say, hey, there's an error, it's outdated. And then just say, hey, the screenshot between one and I don't know, 110 needs to be changed to reflect the 6.2 dashboard. It can be super, uh, super detailed like that, or it could just be like, hey, this video needs to be updated. If you click the send button, that's going to go directly to the training team's inbox and one of our uh, community members will take a look at that and they will be alerted to the fact that we need to make an update to this tutorial. Um, so that is a really important thing, just reporting those errors and letting us know. Um, if you're not sure, feel free to... Um, <laughs> feel free to just, just write. We'd probably prefer to hear more rather than less. Um, we generally try to make changes to things that will become really confusing um, to, to newer users. So just something to keep in the back of your mind. But yeah, so that's one way that you can contribute really quickly to a learn.wordpress.org tutorial. You don't even have to do anything else. Okay, any questions about that before we get into the longer contributions and video editing considerations? Trying to give adequate wait time. I think we're good. If you have a question, drop it in the chat. Let's keep going. Let's talk about what it means to uh, edit videos on Learn itself. So if you want to edit videos on Learn, wordpress.org we generally want you to to join the training team now if you edited a video and sent it to us um, at learn at wordpress.org like i don't know that people would be upset about that but generally you want to join the training team i know we've got several of you um i think who are a member already um, i know laura is um and several of you are, are around all the time <laughs> in these workshops it's so lovely to see you um so if you're like hey like i want to make some videos this is exciting um, heading over to this getting started page, um, we have a quick video introduction. There are different ways it'll walk you through getting set up, your WordPress.org account, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's kind of a choose your own adventure um, type thing here. Um, I'm going to keep this super, super brief, but basically if you're like, hey, I'm really excited about updating tutorials and I want my voice and my video contribution skills to be over here on learn.wordpress.org, um, you want to make a short video tutorial. Um, that is the page to go to. So since somebody just came in, I'm going to copy and paste it like one more time. Um, but yeah, so you'll join the training team that way. So, and the training team is not just the videos, basically anything that you see on learn.wordpress.org um, is, is something that somebody has contributed to the open source community. So we've got our short video tutorials. That's the topic of today's online workshop. Uh, we also write lesson plans, um, which is something that you can use whether you are a member of the training team or not. If you decide to go to a meetup, if you are a classroom teacher, if you want to use one to, I don't know, teach your cat, <laughs> you can find a lesson plan and use it and it'll teach you basically how to teach it. So if you're interested in writing lesson plans, that's another way that you can do it. Apparently there's a video on top of this lesson plan. Fascinating. Um, what you are watching right now on your screen with me, this is a... Uh, an online workshop. This is something else that you can do um, as a training team contributor, um, which is really fantastic. Um, so if you're interested in running online workshops, hey, come join us. We would love to learn from you. Um, whether you are a beginner or super advanced, like we just, we love a variety of voices. Um, and the other thing that you can do that's a little bit longer are writing courses. So these are all text-based courses. 
and they will walk you through how to do all kinds of different stuff, whether you are using a WordPress data layer. I don't know what that means, but maybe you do. If you are a developer learning how to use block themes for the first time, um, if you are getting started with WordPress for the very first time, you're an absolute beginner, or you're just learning how to use block themes, these are text-based courses that will walk you through a lot of things like that. So you can take these courses as a learner, or you can write them as someone who contributes to the training team. Um, yeah, so that is joining the training team and what the training team does in a nutshell. We do a lot more than that, but that's the basics. Let's get started. So you can use tutorials from learn.wordpress.org in several ways. You can use them at a WordPress meetup. Um, if you are a teacher, you are welcome to use them in your classroom. Um, you can also use these videos as a learning supplement for clients. Now you can't charge money for these videos, but you are welcome to make and modify them. So if you are just getting started here and you're going to learn.wordpress.org, we're going to be focusing specifically on tutorials here. So you are welcome to take these videos and under this license, repurpose them um, under the same license. So that license is known as the GNU Public License. We're not going to go super in-depth about this today. Um, but basically, um, it allows you to make derivative work. So you can make videos from these videos. You can smush them together. You can take clips from them. Um, you can basically repurpose them for your own purposes, basically, as long as you're not selling them. So the key parts about this, and again, so you're welcome to use this um, in different ways that you see fit. Um, basically, this license forbids anyone to deny you these rights or to surrender them. So you are able to change the software. You are able to use pieces of it. Um, you have freedom to distribute copies of this software. Um, but basically, you have to say that, hey, if you're going to do this, these same things that other people can take your, your source code, can take your source video, that other people can change that, that it becomes available to people, um, that that just needs to continue to apply. So if you do do this, if you are making things for clients, if you are you know, creating all your own supplemental learning stuff, we would love to see it over on learn.wordpress.org kind of to give back to the community as well. Um, but yeah, so definitely read this um, at your leisure, um, but you are definitely welcome to use this for more than just making videos uh, at learn.wordpress.org. So any questions about that? That was a lot of information really fast. Save time so we can get to the meat of this. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate that you say it. it's great stuff that you didn't know. Yeah. So there, there's a lot here um, that you can do. So let's say that you want to contribute now. We're going to be using this today. This is going to come a little later. That is the open source software known as OpenShot Video Editor and it is free and open source, but let's say that you wanted to update a tutorial. So there's one tutorial that I am updating about template editors. What is it, the template parts? That would be great, template parts, here we go. So this template parts video um, is six minutes long, and you'll notice that this is as old as WordPress 5.9. This was made in like early 2021. Um, so we like you maybe want to update this for learn.wordpress. So there isn't a download button here, but you can find this by going to wordpress.tv. And you can search for that. So I'm going to look for template parts. This is that same video here. I'm comparing this. I can see that this is published. Oh, I'm sorry, 2022, not 2021. Um, either way, it's over a year old and it probably needs an update. Um, but, and I know that it does because I've looked at this, but basically what I'm going to do is there's a download button here. So I did this on both a Mac and a PC to make sure that it worked. I'm going to click this button and then it's going to start playing and it's not going to download. <laughs> You'll notice this is still not downloaded. So what you're going to do here, there's three buttons in the corner, both on Macs and on Windows computers. 
you can then download this video here. So it is downloading. I've already downloaded it once here, but this is how you get this onto your computer. Um, yeah, so that, that's good to know. Um, and other things that to know, let's see, wordpress.tv license. So the thing that's really cool about wordpress.tv is that it is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution stair like. So it's similar to... It's similar to the GPL, the GNU that we were talking about. So from wordpress.tv, you are welcome to share. So copy, redistribute the material in any medium or format. You are welcome to adapt, remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Um, so that's something to know about that. Um, but you do have to make sure that you're sticking with that same license. You do need to give appropriate credit. Um, and you do need to indicate that if and where changes were made. So if you're seeing something and you're, you're learning something really fascinating and you think it would be really helpful for you or for learn.wordpress.org, um, you're welcome to, to make those changes. And I think that that's really exciting because I actually didn't know that um, before I started uh, working on this today. So, Anne, you said, hey, are the names of the videos, are they the same in both places, learn and TV? Yes, they should be. Um, if they are, there's an error. Um, but if you are looking at wordpress.tv, um, anything that is here on wordpress.tv, you can, you can use for these purposes, um, but you can generally just search for the same title. So understanding the site editor and page editor, if I search for that here, um, you can see Georgina Reader, and then I can search for it in the same place, um, over on learn.wordpress.org. So that's if you're updating things for learn. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Great questions, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're here. Um, where was I? We're going to talk about the Slack in a little bit, but not right now. So once you've downloaded the video, um, you can determine what updates are needed and you can use whatever process that you would like. That's the outdoor. We're going to use the one um, that we saw. I'm trying to decide if we have time for actually watching it. Um, but you can determine what updates are needed. So I decided to make a quick list of things. Um, there were some references to 5.9, replaced it with a screenshot, Google Drive squares. Let's actually watch it really quick. Um, let me make sure that my screen is going to share the thing. And then in the chat box, if you notice something, you're like, oh, that's out of date. Just write it down. Um, and you can kind of, you can kind of see, notice what you notice. Where is my thing? Share. Computer sound, haha, -ha, I found it. Okay. So let's watch this tutorial. Anything you see that's a little out of date, drop it in the chat box. No right or wrong answers here. If it's if it could just be clearer, if it, you know, needs to be updated to 6.2. If you just have a suggestion, whatever you see, write a note. Are you interested in personalizing a header or footer that can be used throughout your entire site? Have you ever wanted to edit a header or footer beyond what the customizer allowed, but didn't want to make changes to the theme's code? In this workshop, we'll explore how template parts block fits into the array of full site editing features and gives you flexibility in designing your own header and footer. The template part block is an advanced block and it's used to organize and display your site structure. For context, this block is best used to create areas like your header, footer, and sidebar. Once you have created a template part, you can use it, reuse it, or edit it. When you change blocks inside a template part, the editor will update the blocks on every block template that includes that template part. If you change a template part in one place, it will change everywhere it has been used. For this workshop, I'll be making changes in a local test site called My Travel Blog. I'll be using the 2022 block theme and running WordPress version 5.9. Feel free to pause this video if you want to try it out on your own. First, we'll need to access template parts. One way to do this is through the editor. Make your way to Dashboard, Appearance, Editor. Click on the W in the top left and then template parts. 
you'll find any existing template parts listed on this page. You can either edit an existing template part by clicking on the template part you want to personalize, or you can add a new template part to your site by clicking the Add New button in the top right corner. Let's start by editing an existing template part. I'm going to click on Header, which brings me to the Template Part Focus Mode. This is a dedicated mode that only shows the selected template part. From here, I can edit the header by customizing existing blocks, adding new blocks, or removing existing blocks. For instance, I'm going to upload a site logo of my initials to the existing site logo block. I could also click on the existing navigation menu and delete it. And then I could click on the plus sign to insert a block and bring the navigation menu right back in. You'll notice that that familiar experience from the editor applies to template parts now like your header too. I'm going to hit save in the top right corner and it'll alert me that changes are being applied to this specific header template part. That means that any place that the particular template part appears throughout my site will also be updated with these changes. Great, now let's add a new template part to our site. We'll access the template editor focus mode the same way as we did to edit an existing template part. From your dashboard, navigate to Appearance, Editor, click on the W in the top left corner, and then select Template Parts. However, this time we're going to click the Add New button in the top right corner. Since it's a new template part, we'll have to select the type we want to create, either General, Header, or Footer. If you select General, it's not tied to any particular area, unlike a header being at the top of your site and a footer being at the bottom. I'm going to select Header. And now I'm going to give it a name and call it My Travel Blog Header. Once the name is entered and the area is selected, you can click the Create button. Now I can create a header from scratch. I'm going to click on the plus sign to access the block inserter and type in cover so that I can add in a cover image. I have a picture from my travels in Montana already uploaded to my media library, so I'm going to select that. Wonderful. I want to change this color overlap, how it's a little bit grayed out, so I'm going to click on the cover image and open settings. Let's scroll down to color, and reduce the opacity to zero. Now I want to add the site logo into my header. So I'm going to go back to the inserter, type site logo, and click on that block to add it. I now have created a brand new header. I'm going to hit save so that I can reuse this template part throughout my site. You might be wondering how to add a template part into an existing template. Let's explore that now using the editor. I'm going to access the editor from the dashboard by clicking on Appearance and then Editor. I am currently editing my site's home page, which is indicated by where it says Home in the top middle of the screen. My home page with the 2022 theme already comes preloaded with a header that has a cover image of a bird, a site logo, site title, and navigation menu. I have the option to simply make edits to this header similarly to how we did it with the template focus mode. However, I want to show how to add a header into the editor. Let's get rid of this existing header first by opening up list view, hovering over header dark small, clicking the three vertical dots to access options, and then clicking on remove template part. Now I'm going to go to the toggle block inserter, which has that plus sign, to add a template part. I can do this a few ways by adding the template part block or the header block. I'm going to select the template part block. It will automatically insert this block at the bottom of the page. I then have the option to choose an existing template part or to create a new template part, but this time I'll be able to edit it right from within the editor. I'm going to select Choose Existing. Any available template parts will then be available to choose. There are the preloaded headers for my theme, but also the header we created earlier called My Travel Blog. I'm going to click on My Travel Blog header to add that into the homepage template. And for my last step, I'm going to open up List View, click and drag the header up to the top of the template page. And now let's preview. 
you can now add that template part header to any templates throughout your entire site. And that's it. Beautiful. <laughs> so I just want to get a sense of how you're feeling right now uh, on a scale of one to five, one being, whoa, I have no idea where I'd even start here. And five being, I know exactly what I would do first. Where did you fall? Um, I think I would probably be at like a three-ish. <laughs> like when I first looked at this, I felt like maybe like a two. I was like, oh man, there's, there's a lot there that's moving. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some threes or fours. Okay, okay. I'm seeing some confidence. If you're not feeling that way, that is okay too. I'm just kind of curious to see uh, how this next part will go. Beautiful. Three or four. Okay, cool. Ah, I love it. Welcome. All right. I'm going to learn some things from y'all. Okay, so we watched the outdated tutorial, and obviously there's some analysis there. there there's definitely some background information uh, that you need to know in order to, to update this. Um, I will say this right now, perfection is the voice of the oppressor, okay? We're not looking for perfection. We are looking for done. Uh, we are looking for clarity. We are looking for things that will, will cause some problems, right? So like we noticed that like the beta button when we were in our... Um, that's an Anne Lamott quote, but <laughs> just to give, just to attribute where I got the, the, the quote. Um, but the beta button, for example, next to editor... I think that if someone were brand new, it might be kind of weird that it said beta next to it. Like that might give me pause, but at the same time, I would still know what button to click. So certain small things like that maybe don't need to be updated as much, um, but not being able to find your templates or seeing a completely different menu than where templates were before may be tricky. So you can you can kind of pick and choose here a little bit too, and, and you can get some feedback from the training team if you're making this on Learn specifically. Um, but done is better than perfect. So these are some of the changes that I saw, removing references, replacing the screenshots, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then I decided, you know, the first thing that you need to do is get your tools ready. Because if you just try and dive right in, you're going to find yourself pausing a lot and be like, wait, what, huh? What am I doing? <laughs> what needs to happen first, second, or third? So the first thing is I highly recommend using a local WordPress environment. You can use MAMP, Champ, um, or local by Flywheel. This is what we will be using today. So if you, and eventually a WordPress playground, that's something that's in development. It's a WordPress installation that works just in the browser. Ho oh, ho, very exciting. Not ready yet though. Um, you also can use Zoom to make screencasts and recordings. So that's one of the things that you already have because you're attending here now. Um, you'll notice when I started this that I said, hey, record this this uh, record this session. Um, I can take those recordings and drop them and edit them into my video software. So you're already further along than you think that you were. Um, the third thing is I highly recommend utilizing Google Slides. Um, we've got this resource for you. Um, it's got some, some colors and stuff. It is accessible from a color perspective. It can be modified, adapted, changed. Um, it can be modified, adapted, and changed. You can even change like this background image to something else if you want. Um, but yeah, so this is a really good resource for you um, to make slides. Um, and the other thing that's really cool is that you can use this for to, to make animations. Um, and it's, it's just a really good resource. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how that works in just a minute. Um, but just know that you can have this resource, save it, use it. Um, it's very, it, it's polished, but you could make it even prettier if you wanted, or you could, I don't know, completely change it. <laughs> the choice is yours. I'm not a designer, so I like having templates. Um, and then the last thing, if I can not get lost in my own thing, um, is utilizing uh, a video software. So I had thought that you could use Windows Movie Maker, but as I discovered today, uh, they no longer support that with Windows 10, which absolutely breaks my heart. So um, there are lots of video editing softwares. Uh, it does exist still. Um, you can also use iMovie if you're using a Mac. Today, we're going to be using OpenShot um, as well. This is an open source video editor. It's available for Linux, uh, OS X, and Windows. So Max, Windows, whatever you're using for the most part, you can use this. Um, and it's completely open source. So that's really, really cool. If anybody has, an, I, I think we mentioned several others earlier on that people have used in the past. So 
we're a okay there. Um, but we're just going to look at this one today just because it is free. It is open source. Um, and I'm getting the hang of using it. So <laughs> hopefully today's demonstration portion doesn't go completely oh, haywire. So with this in mind, um, yeah, look, we got our tools ready. I have a local WordPress environment. I've already downloaded it. It is somewhere. I think I put it not there. Not there. <laughs> I always lose things, y'all. That's the actual thing itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just going to reopen it. So off to local we go. You can see that we have a training team Slack. So if you ever get stuck while you're doing this and you're you're making stuff for Learn WordPress or you have questions about joining the training team or just want to be like, hey, I made a thing. This is where you would you would do that, the make WordPress training. Um, but that's not what we're doing right now. Right now I'm doing local. So I remember that Roxy called it my travel blog. So I'm going to go ahead and click WP admin here. And this is updated to the 6.2 version automatically. You can always check that by checking your update section. Make sure that you are at the most recent. Um, and I know that she said that she used the 2022 theme. So the 2023 theme is what's currently active right now. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the 2022 theme just because that's gonna, I know that that's probably going to get me closer to what she did. Um, and then we can, we can get started. Um, so... Let's start from the very beginning, which is a very good place to start. I was playing with this earlier, but I'm going to just kind of remove this and show you some of the tools that I use regularly. Uh, let's just go to file, new project. So this is a brand new project. This is using OpenShot Video Editor. It's pretty similar to my uh, what I usually use, which is Camtasia, which is not free, um, but it does allow me to do a lot of what I need. So in order to get this, um, one thing that I discovered on my Mac, by my downloads folder, see all of my work, here we go. So this is the video that I downloaded from wordpress.tv. If I right click and press open with, it doesn't really give me an option to open it with anything else. Um, <laughs> I had a hard time finding it there. So what I did, was I minimized this. I'm a big fan of the drag and drop. So I'm just going to take this video here and stick it on track one. And that just moved that entire MP3. So now if I press play, which I can do either by pressing this button or by pressing space for it, you can see that this video exists in here. So the first tool that it I use that I really, really like, and I'm going to make this a lot bigger right now, is there's a cut tool. So I'm going to go over here because if I refer back to the guide that I made for myself, which I am going to reference now, it was right there, between 57 and 115, I, there's some sort of reference to 5.9. And I think I can just take that out and not have it be too terribly weird. So let's play this and see where we are. Well, test site called my travel blog. Okay, that's normal. So the appearance editor there might be something that I want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to split this. So one thing I do, so what I did is I right clicked here and this is what you can do on a Windows or a Macintosh. I did check this today. There is this lovely button that says slice and I'm going to press collect both sets. And what that's going to do is it is going to separate my tracks for me. So now I don't have to worry about anything over here. I'm just going to work on this one over here. And if you want to move them, you can. It's kind of user's choice. I'll be using the 2022 block theme. Okay, so that's normal. Again, that editor button is still there. So I'm not sure how much I like that, but she's using the 2022 block theme and I got that set up. WordPress version 5.9. Okay, WordPress version is probably not as important. Most people have hopefully updated at least to 5.9, 6.0, 6.1 by now. Um, so I'm thinking that's not as relevant. So I think what I want to do is completely take that out. So I'm going to back this up a little bit and I'm going to pay attention to where the sound is here. And I'm going to press play and running word. Okay. And running WordPress. So I'm going to back this up again. And running. So it's around what was it? YouTube block theme. And I paused it. Okay. So I paused it right where I believe she's starting to say that. So I'm going to split this again. So I'm right clicking 
clicking on slice. I'm going to keep both sides because I don't want to delete anything yet. And I'm just going to let it now play past where she says, hey, 5.9 area. And running WordPress version 5.9. OK, I think I can just remove that. So I'm going to slice this one more time. I'm going to keep the right side only. You're going to see the left side disappear from this one little chopped up section. And now it's gone. So what we do, there's a blank space here. I'm going to drag and drop this. So I'm just clicking. Oh, they're both selected. That's not going to work. Control Z, undo. Move both of those. Uh-oh. So I'm just getting used to this new one. Um, I'm going to double check. Okay, so it definitely moved it. Fun fact, when I press undo, it only moved this one back. So I'm going to move this one back here. Now I'm just going to select this one. Apparently that's evidenced by the red highlight around it. Drag and drop it. That blue line tells me that there's no more space. So let's play it and see what happens. See if this, this makes enough sense. A site called my travel block. I'll be using the 2022 block theme. Feel free to pause this video if you want to try it out on your own. Okay, so the sound part from 5.9 got removed, but we still see like the current version 5.9 on the screen. So I'm going to let this run out to the end of the screen. And as I do that, think about what you might do to fix this, right? Because <laughs> the current version, out of date. The beta button, out of date. What do you think that you would try and do in this situation? Drop a thought in the chat or just watch and we'll figure it out together. Crystal needs. Learn transition could work. Yep. We could re record. Yep. That's another option. So I noticed that this faded to black for me. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to slice this up one more time. I'm going to keep both sides because I don't want anything else to disappear. And as I move this back, you can kind of see what, what's visually on this screen. So we talked about this earlier about how. It's kind of fun to have this computer here, and it is possible uh, to just overlay the screen with something else, and we can show you how to do that if you want, but it is so tiny, I can barely see it on my computer screen as it is. So you have two options here. Um, you can re-record that the screen, uh, and you can do that using Zoom. You just fire up a Zoom like we are here and say, hey, record, and you can just click, 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 like that's totally fine. Um, I really struggle with that personally. Um, if you're good at that, great, A+. <laughs> um, but for me, it's it's really hard to get the timing just right. I'm not sure if I can adjust the timings of these. Let's find out if I can. Um, animate. There's a fade option. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can animate an entire clip, the start of a clip, the end of a clip. That's some, that's some cool stuff. I can rotate things. I can speed things up or slow things down. Okay, so you definitely could re-record this. If you're like me and you struggle, I highly recommend taking some screenshots here. Um, because the thing is, you don't necessarily have to show somebody moving from place to place to place. It doesn't have to be in real time. And I find that a lot easier in making some quick edits. So I'm going to watch this and I'm going to start thinking, OK, what screens do I need? So I'm going to rewatch this with you just real quick. Back it up a little bit. Not that far. What do I need to show here? I'm going to press play called my travel block. I'll be using the 2022 block. Theme. So I could click on appearance pause this video if you want to try and then out. editor. And then I think I might just skip this screen. So I think I need two screens. I think I need a screenshot where it says appearance and then a screenshot of the theme that I have picked. So yeah, using a series of images is a super easy way to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's Let's do this together really quick. It's 345. We're doing pretty well. I just kind of want to show you just, just these tools and some of the things that you can use. Um, okay. I fired up a sample website. There's local. There's this. Okay. So I've got a screenshot here. I'm actually going to go to my dashboard. Appearance editor. Now, Learning to take a screenshot is super, super important. So there's a couple of considerations that I have here. Um, first off, we've got like all of this junk up here, right? Um, I am very, I'm a very messy thinker. I'm very chaotic. So a lot of the time, <laughs> my screenshots are not particularly pretty. So I'm going to try and cut out some of that. So I know how to take a screenshot um, and I'm going to give you some resources real quick. Where were they? 
um, learning to take screenshots is a little bit of an art. Um, once you get the hang of it, it becomes a lot easier. That's how you do it on Windows. Uh, this is, where did it go? Load. These are the directions for how to do it on Mac. Um, so that way you have them, you can definitely save them. If you're not even sure, save those guides. It will make your uh, video editing <laughs> lives a lot easier. And then I'm going to start closing some things so that I can stop getting lost, y'all. <laughs> All right, here's my dashboard. So I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm doing this with my map by pressing control shift three. That did the whole thing. Control shift four. Waiting for that to go away first though. Doop -doo -doo -doo. Go away thing. Go away. Okay, went away. All right. Control shift four, which allows me to select just the dashboard here. Although I do need the appearance here because that's one of the things that I said that I wanted. I'm just going to take a lovely little screenshot here. And I think, you know what, I'm just going to drag it in here for right now, because I'm going to utilize Google Slides here. So I'm going to make this take up the entire screen. So you can do a couple of things here. Um, this is one way that you can use video markup without having a problem. Um, if you use your tools here, insert shape, I can grab a square here and say, hey, let's click on editor. Now it does take a little bit of time um, just to say, hey, I don't I want this to be transparent and I want this to be outlined in a bright red color so that it is easy to be seen. But now if I press the slideshow button and I'm on this page, this is now annotated for me. I can use this. I can take one more screenshot. And now I'm going to drag and drop this right over here. So you've got some options here. Um, this does, the software does allow you to put things uh, in different places. So let's see, I'm going to shrink this. Oh, it didn't shrink the right thing though. Interesting. Okay, so I think I did something that I was having trouble with. So you'll notice that this cursor over here um, shrank things down. I think what it was gonna do was it was going to make it start big and shrink. <laughs> So I'm going to try and put this at the very beginning because this is just an interesting little quirk of the software. I'm going to make sure that just this is selected. Now I'm going to try and shrink it again. No, it's doing it again. Why is it doing that? Let's see what happens when I play. Called my travel block. Oh, nope. Oh, there it is. I thought it was going to shrink down. Why is it not shrinking down? I did this earlier, y'all. There we go. Now if I back it up. Ah, so <laughs> I'm not sure how to fix this yet uh, because I have been playing with this just today. Um, but apparently there is an effect that I just created, which will shrink this down to the size that I selected here. So you can see it happen. I'll be using the 2020 <laughs> Cool effect, something that you can definitely learn to play with. So if I wanted, I could move this around. Um, looks like it moved it as well on here. What a cool thing that you could do. I need to figure out how to not do that. But the other option that I have is just to take these two things out. Now, if I delete them without removing the audio, the audio is gonna go away. So you're, now what you can do is, hey, there's a button here, I right click it. I am going to select both of these by pressing, oh, can I? I'm not actually sure I can select both of these. I'm just gonna select one at a time then just in case. I'm gonna remove the single clip. You'll see that it's got that, that waiting thing. And you'll notice that the sound is now a little blue button down here. And I'm going to do that over here too. Separate audio, single clip. So both of these are changed. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I can move this up and down, I discovered today. Um, and I can literally just take this audio now and move it to a higher track. That blue line means that it's lined up with this video piece over here. I'm going to do the same thing down here lined up where I think it needs to be, I hope, I think. And now I'm going to remove both of these. Remove clip. I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. I'm going to try and delete some of the things. Can I remove the properties? I don't actually know. 
We're going to find out. But right now, I'm moving it down here. And I'm going to fill up the black box. So you can notice that there's a little bit of difference between the black here and the gray here. I believe what this means is that that's the full video size. And it may have different dimensions than I'm used to. Oh, also, that's not fixed. Fascinating. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit of trial and error. But I should now be able to play. Called my travel. I'll be using the oh, I moved that a little too much. So I'm going to move it back. Travel block. Some of this is trial I'll and error. I'll be using the 2022 block theme. <laughs> Feel free to pause this video. So I'll be using the 2022 block theme. Called my travel block. Travel blog. I'll be using the 2022 block theme. So I'm definitely moving more things around than I need to. So this does take a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of skill. But now you've seen that, hey, you can separate things. You can move things. Um, and you can use, um, what should we call it, Google Drive to, to make those types of changes. Um, the other thing that I could do is I could just demonstrate this right now in front of you. So this is being recorded. Um, I can drag and drop this recording once it's done. Uh, into one of these other tracks. It looks like it's up to track number five and I can chop it up so that we can show it. So what I would do for that is I, again, I would fire up a Zoom. I would start recording. I would make sure that my face uh, was not on the screen <laughs> unless you would like to be involved in one of these videos. Um, and rather than take screenshots, which is totally valid and I, I find that easier, I could really just do what was done initially just with an updated screenshot. So let's go here. Okay, so I know that she says, so oh, here I am, I'm in my dashboard. We've got appearance. I'm telling myself to go really slowly. I can definitely remove this audio. And then I'm gonna select appearance and I'm gonna make sure that the 2022 theme exists there. So that's another option um, to do this as well. So yeah, um, the other thing that you can do that I find really easy um, is to use Google Slides for annotation. So this is just a static screenshot, and I'm going to exit out of it. Um, this became just a static screenshot, but if I wanted to, I could something delete that. No, nope. okay. So what I could do is I could choose to animate this. So one of the things, one of the things that I've noticed, I'm going to answer Jean's thought in the chat in just a second, um, is that I don't really necessarily like the annotations to exist ahead of time here. Again, I'm not sure why this one is is moving all over the place. That's something I'm going to have to figure out just because this is new software to me. But I definitely like it when things um, appear. So if you right click in Google Drive. Um, you have the option to animate things. And this one has it appear on click, right? So if I play this, and I'm saying, hey, we're going to be using Appearance Editor today, I can have it so that when I click, it automatically plays. So here we go. I'm talking about it. Click on Appearance Editor. Boom. It existed where it didn't before. And I can just take that short little recording and plop it right in there. So yeah, so those are some of the basics. Uh, we've got five minutes left. So for the sake of time, um, Jean said, hey, I'm not sure how it would work if you were using someone else's video, but you use the separate Zoom audio files for the audio track. You find that easier to work with. Yeah, um, so you can definitely do that. That's one way. Um, another thing that you can do is rather than like chunk it up and, and chop it up piece by piece, you can remove the audio track from everything. So I'm gonna click on the separate audio. I'm just gonna remove it. Um, one thing that is a little bit tricky here is that uh, I don't think that they have an audio record button. So you are going to need to record um, using Zoom um, the same way. Um, but I could just re-record this video using my voice if I wanted to from start to finish. Um, because if you had to learn to work with Sudorg, and you find the, what is it, template parts. You find the actual thing right here. Um, you'll notice that there is a full, full transcript here. <laughs> so if you need to re-record something, if you're really talented at showing something on a screen as you go, 
um, you can definitely use this transcript and you can translate this transcript if you speak another language and you can um, you, you can just re-record it that way. Um, and that's one way that like if you have to make like significant changes that you can do. So my, what I'm going to try and do with the rest of this, not, not during today's lecture, uh, obviously, but I'm going to try and just use the existing audio and re-record the different screen grabs using the Zoom technology. And then I will grab Zoom, stick it right in here, chop it up to the, the specific pieces, and that'll be that. So this, this should get you started with this. Um, again, I would really welcome you to join the WordPress training team because, I mean, we're around a lot. We're around, someone is around pretty much at all hours of the day. I'm alone uh, in North America. Uh, but if you were to pop in here and say, hey, like I'm having trouble with X thing. Does anyone have a suggestion or an idea? Or does somebody have the image to this picture? Um, you can definitely just pop in here and ask a question and someone will get back to you um, as soon as they can. So yeah, um, just a couple more tips and tricks. Um, I just showed you a lot of these things. Uh, we talked about re-recording anything needed with Zoom, just recording it. Um, yeah. And then the last thing, once you finish going through it, just little bit by little bit, there, there's a whole process there. Um, but yeah, that, that's probably a later thing. We probably don't have uh, a ton of time. So we have two minutes left. Um, let's see if there are any questions. And yes, thank you all so much for asking such amazing questions. Um, the Google Slides, would you be modifying or copying? Um, I would recommend, I think you're going to have to make a copy of the slide. So I sent that earlier on. If you go to file and what is it? Uh, make a copy. You can then modify the slides on your own. So you won't be modifying the same thing. Um, so you make a copy of the slides. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the resources uh, that you have today at your leisure. So any other questions? I mean, th this is a lot today. Um, I, the more I, I think about this, the more like the skills that you, you need to have, you need to figure out like how to move things around and you have to have like a pretty good attention to detail with like the time and getting comfortable with new technology. Um, and you have to figure out like how to set up WordPress so it looks similar. Um, there was one thing that I wanted to mention. I think it might've been behind here. Um, so one thing, uh, if you are in my position, so Roxy is no longer contributing to the training team at the moment, so I don't have access to some of the visuals that I saw um, in her stuff. So if you're here and you're like, wow, this is a really complicated website and I'm trying to update the visuals, but like, I can't make it look the same. It's totally okay to transition to, hey, let's look at a different example. And then at the end, if you're going back to the other one, you can say, let's go back to the other one. Like, that's totally fine. <laughs> um, you can also use a plugin called FakerPress to quickly generate uh, fake content. I should really make a tutorial on that, on how to use those for learn because it's really great. Um, and th the thing that I really just want to leave you with is done is absolutely better than perfect. Um, we just want to make sure that our learning content is as up to date as possible. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Any final questions today? All right, just quick check, scale of one to five, one being I have no idea where I'd even start, five being I think I would know like how to start uh, updating a tutorial. Where, where would you fall? I'm just curious. I see a four, I see a three, a five. Okay, okay. A four or five. All right, I'm seeing some improvement. That's exciting. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, you can definitely find this recording again. Um, on Learn WordPress. And thank you all so much for joining me. Feel free to direct message me in the training team message or in their Slack. I would be delighted to, to help you through any of these steps. So yeah, have a good one, y'all. I'm so glad that some of these tips are helpful for you. That's wonderful, Sharon. Oh, I love it. All right. See you next time.